New data from the Centers for Disease Control show more people are coming down with the common cold. The virus is currently at the highest level since 2022. School is starting. We're moving more indoors. That increases the risk of transmission. There's also other variables that are difficult to predict. Changes in weather, humidity. The CDC reporting nearly a third of tests are coming back positive for rhinovirus and enterovirus. Rhinovirus is the most frequent cause of the common cold, and enterovirus is a type of respiratory infection. There's also viral competition, where last season we saw certain viruses rise. That means that we'll see other viruses decrease, and that leaves the community with an immunity debt. That means that many of us have not seen these viruses in quite some time, and that increases our risk of susceptibility. While there's no vaccines for the common cold, there are ways to reduce your risk of catching or spreading it. Healthcare professionals say have good hygiene, like washing your hands, covering your mouth when you cough or sneeze, opening windows for cleaner air, and staying at home from work or school if you're sick. Experts say flu activity typically follows, with illness rising at the start of October and peaking in December and February. And when it comes to the flu, healthcare professionals say the flu shot is the best defense against not only the flu, but also severe complications from it. It's recommended annually to everyone over the age of six months.